all the water that comes from our faucet actually comes from this area. In particular, the Ipo watershed, where we find two dams. One is the Angat, Angat Dam, and the other is the Ipo Dam. So Angat Dam is basically a hydropower plant. It's run by NAPCOR, which provides power for everybody here. The second dam is the Ipo Dam. And from the Ipo Dam, there are three tunnels that lead to the Mesa Dam. So a lot of people are familiar with the Mesa Dam. And from the Mesa Dam, it's distributed by Manila and Manila Water. But from a distance, we would see that the Ipo Watershed looks green. It actually looks quite green. But when you come closer, you'll see that these areas, which should be forests, are actually farmlands, some are like golf courses, or, and worse, in some areas, it's actually almost dead rock. These used to be forests, all of it. But unfortunately, through the years, uh, it has declined to about just 40% of the forest cover step in the area. But what's important is that we're doing a project in the Eco Watershed, we call it the Forest for Water Project. So this small water cause is actually part of where our water comes from. Okay, it's located inside the Eco Watershed. This is not part of the dam, but it's inside the watershed. Remember, without forest, there will be no water. So the program is basically, we call it rainforestation. So what differentiates rainforestation from the traditional tree planting? Have any of you been a part of any tree planting activity? Huh? Seriously? Okay. A lot of companies ask us if you can help us plant trees. So we help plant trees along Rojas Boulevard, along Manila Bay, Milo, maybe 5 hectares, maybe 200 seedlings. But these things are not actually sustainable in that manner. For one, a company who asked for the help, WWF, never came back. It was just for a photo opportunity. I don't blame you. At least you plant trees, and that helps. But if you want to be, uh, have more impact, it has to be more than just tree planting. So there are different terms. There's tree nurturing, tree growing, there's even tree mothering. But the um, uh, uh, sort of model of statement, uh, title is rainforestation where we, we make sure that the plants, the trees that we plant there are not, let's say, Mahogany or Jimilina, which will be cut down eventually. A lot of our projects have been Jimilina and Mahogany. But these are timber wood and paper wood. In, in a few years, they will be cut down, so they don't play the role of creating a forest. So in main forest nation, we make sure that the trees we plant are the ones that are appropriate for the area, and specifically, it should be endemic in the Philippines. Mahogany is not in the Philippines. So these are the things that we should avoid with that thing. And since we're in the area, we will ensure that your trees, the trees that will be donated and planted, will be monitored at least for five years to ensure that they will grow. So it's not a tree planting activity, it's a rainforestation activity. So remember at WWF, we don't really promote just the panda because it's cute. It's actually Sure, we have water, food, and energy for all forever. Thank you to Nat Geo for this year's donation. Thank you very much.